Hello there guys and welcome back to the Titan Quest Let's Play the Epic Edition. So this is where we stopped last time in Sparta and as you noticed I've really cleaned out my inventory since last time. I've put a lot of stuff in TQ Vault, got rid of all the uncompleted relics from normal, although I kept a few full ones in case we need them as ingredients or in case some of them are quite good we might want to equip them on the gear, you know, call of them from Act 4. So yeah, and I've got all the epic ones just stored there. And this is something I noticed we had in our inventory, this is slightly better than our current axe. The only problem is w the damage per second we get from it is slightly smaller because we don't have a good relic to put on it yet. So once we do find a good relic to put, then we should be able to swap it. So Alright, so let's do the Spartan, Spartan main quest. Alright, so don't forget, don't forget to speak to this guy as well for the side quest. See the Ancient of War. So yeah, if, if you recall, I've already uploaded the first episode about a week ago. First episode of this epic playthrough, because most people wanted me to carry on. So I'm pretty much showcasing... Well, it is still a full walkthrough, full playthrough, it's just... I'm not really showing every single little bit, I'm skipping some sections because they're just boring, you know? Hey! How dare you study me? Study prey. See that icon? That's study prey. That's a skill in the hunting mastery, which is really good. It's a nice debuff. Of course, uh, centaur enemies can do it on you. And this is the Hippias guy for the side quest. See, he's all the way on the far right, on the far east of the map. I've already been showing that in the normal playthrough, so if you want. If you want a more in-depth walkthrough of the side quest, then best to check that. This is mostly just for fun, you know. Alright, so that we completed that side quest. 70,000 gold. That's shitloads of gold. Right, and we're ready to fight Nessus now, because I've already cleaned out the whole area, so we're just going to fight Nessus. And look how easy he will be on epic difficulty. If you remember, he was kind of hard, you know, normal, because you still don't have any skills. But now, on Epic, he's just a piece of cake. See, I can easily tank him and his minions at the same time. It looks like some of them have Heart of Oak. If you notice that green aura they had, it was Heart of Oak. Shrunk in size. Just take care of this guy. Two of them. Trappers. Alright, then... They didn't drop anything good. So just check the chest. Centos can drop a nice uh, rare... Which is called Outriders Buckler. So what's this? Bottom of Hermes' sandal. So we can combine with the other one we had. 12% movement. Oh yeah, stately. That's stately is a nice prefix. When you see stately, it means it gives a percentage bonus to strength, intelligence, and dexterity. The only problem with that thingy is that it's a circle, so it's for the mages mostly. So it's not as good as what we've got currently. Lots of little chests around here. And I'm gonna teleport back to Leonidas and tell him that we've done what he wanted. Alright. Get us in. Do it. Yes, I've killed it and I'll kill you. Indeed. And this is part that easy to forget. It's quite easy to forget to speak to Leonidas after you kill Nessus. So make sure you do that because you get one skill point bonus. See, we can spend it, and it's a bit difficult when you've got just one skill point, because you want to spend it on something very useful. We already maxed out all the shield passives. There isn't much or anything worth putting one point in Storm right now. So, yeah, this is a... Uh, adrenaline tree is good, see, resilience. If you put one point in that, and we'd get an extra one bonus, so we get 38 send recharge on adrenaline so that's gonna trigger more frequently so that's good and that means our defensive reaction buff is gonna trigger more frequently as well all right so got rid of our loot so we can carry on all right so i've picked up this embodiment of the veiler of achilles and we can probably put it on this actually because veiler of achilles is pretty good just check this fog yeah fog isn't as good as what we've got. So yeah, see, 
This gives percentage bonus to damage, and Achilles gives flat damage and attack speed, so that's ought to make a good difference. See? When we compare, gives quite a significant bonus, and our adrenaline just kicked in. So yeah, it's a bit difficult to judge, because our adrenaline kicked in. See, that gave us about 100 bonus to DPS. So that's a nice buff to have. Right, so yeah, so we're comparing this. If you notice, this gives us about 30 extra damage, and once we find more pieces of the Veil of Achilles, we can add more. And I also got these leggings with a nice dexterity bonus. I don't usually pick up yellow items at this stage, but, you know, I thought, um, you know, some bonuses are good, and adroitedness means it gives a bonus to dexterity. So I thought I would have it, because we do really need dexterity. The only problem right now, this has a uh, jet of horse in it for, and gives an armor bonus. So, we are losing a little bit on armor, unless we can find a good relic to put in it. But look at that, that gives us a nice bonus to offensive and defensive ability because of the dexterity in it. And I decided to put that pristine plumage, that would be nice for the poison resistance that we're gonna lose out when we de equip that. So, we put that on. And we'll put some Priestine Plumage, and as we're gonna be exploring more of Act 1, we're gonna get some more Priestine Plumage, hopefully. So, yeah, we've got a nice bonus to Offensive and Defensive ability now. So this should be good. Right. Onwards and into battle. Let's get going. Oh yes, and this is a lot that we had from Act 4. It might be alright if we find some good, a good relic to put on. On it because it gives a nice strength and dexterity bonus. Rage of Ares is okay, but it just gives 15% chance of those nice bonuses, which you know isn't that high. It's not anything permanent, you know. Well, right. Yeah, I thought that we actually got pretty strong now. Now that we equipped the new gear, if you notice that boat rider, boat rider. Boar Rider has gone down in 3 hits. Yeah. I mean, we're not attacking as, f as fast. Our attack speed has gone down slightly, but our average damage per hit has gone up. Maybe that's Golden Fleece. So yeah, it's a, it's a good exchange. And it is going to get stronger once we find more Achilles pieces. Alright, so this is uh, the Undead Ruins. I did want to bring up something, actually, that I almost forgot. I, in fact, forgot to mention in the previous episode. I noticed that uh, sometimes I get private messages as well from some peeps and uh, I do apologize if I haven't replied to your private message because sometimes with the YouTube format it's a bit difficult to see and I, a couple of weeks ago I saw that I had like a couple of unread messages from nine months ago and I was like shit how could I miss that so I really hope I didn't I didn't seem rude by not replying because uh, it wasn't because I was being rude, it's because I simply didn't see the messages and when I did find them, well, it was a bit too late. So yeah, this is quite crazy battle around here, a lot of satyrs. We've gotten really strong now with the new gear. And we are almost at TG as soon. Profane simple wraps. Profane means it gives a bonus to poison damage, but it also gives a huge penalty to health regeneration. Alright, so these death weavers, I, I've killed uh, the death weavers and I saw their shield, death weaver shield, which is a rare for Arachnos, which is quite nice, it gives uh, some piercing resistance, and of course you can put a relic on it. It's not as good as our current shield though, because our current shield gives us plus one bonus to all defense skills, so that's something that's going to be painful to remove. So yeah, but uh, this is the epic version of the death weaver shield now, if you notice, because it's not the same as the one you get on normal difficulty. Could put the Shade of Hect on it for a piercing resistance and defense bonus, but we are gonna lose quite a lot on the offensive side of things, the attack speed and stuff. And right now, offensive side of things is more important because there isn't much of an immediate danger in Act 1 to us. I did notice that those purple guys, purple arachnos, actually have a high chance, I think, of dropping this rare gear. I think last time, in a normal difficulty, we dropped nice stuff from them as well. Alright, so we're in TG now, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight here, I'm gonna fight off this horde of zombies, because they're all mine. Nobody's gonna steal my kills. We're actually extremely close to the level up now. Alright, so 
there's one more left in here all right don't forget about the side quest in here the poison spring gonna sell that because we don't want it I might yeah okay mate okay yeah I don't really need any potions right now and I'll hold on to the death with shield because it's not every day that you find something so nice even if we can't use it right now so yeah, this guy gives you a quest see these purple guys I think I think I might be mistaken but I think they do have a high chance of dropping um, death weaver's gear Alright, so got a side quest there all right I'm already in the cave I've cleaned out most of it so I picked up a couple of Dionysus wine skins so I'm gonna combine it yeah it's that damage resistance bonus it gives is to physical damage when it says damage resistance it means physical damage resistance all right so let's go and fight those um, death we we see the glowing guys they're the ones we have to defeat for the quest these guys have a good chance to drop their death we gear as well I really hate that that webbing stuff they drop on the ground because it really slows down your movement yeah and I hate being encased in the net as well because it's just annoying that's why that skill and the hunting master is pretty good the one which stops you from being entrapped uh, so just picked up a couple of greens so we're gonna take a look at them so that's yeah fire axe that's gonna go for sale it's talent tricky not too bad I like that attack speed bonus but it's probably not gonna be as good no it's certainly not gonna be as good as what we've got so yeah, I might sell that as well uh, so we've got one more batch of death we wish to defeat Best pinners, I mean. So yeah, not too difficult. Arachnos arm blades. These are not death weavers, by the way. Death weavers are usually dark in color, and they actually called death weavers. These are just arachnos arm blades with a green bonus. See, it's the same as a bonus on here. Attack speed and chance to dodge. So these are arachnos arm blades of trickery. It just it doesn't always say it. And they're not too bad, although there's no point right now. Yeah, we're losing quite a lot on offensive and defensive ability. Unless we find a good relic, of course, to put on them, then we might do the exchange. But for now, we better stick with what we've got. I don't seem to have anything else. Let us return. Oh yes, let's just not forget to check. There's nothing usually good in these little chests. Just gold and health potions. Alright, let's return. And you come back to this Nyad. She's the one who actually completes the quest for you, if you remember. We got a bonus, 150 health reward. That's a permanent perk. That's about it. We've completed that side quest, so let's return to Tijia. And I've missed a little section here. Yep, nothing too special around there. We are really close to level up. I mean, look at that. That's... It's so... That gap is so slim. I bet just killing... Yeah, probably just killing literally one more enemy might actually do it. But, we're gonna stop this episode here. So, we're gonna see the level up in the next episode. We're gonna continue further. So, we're gonna carry on going along here to the Megara. So, yes, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.